Three hours? It took three hours for the humans to secure the first planet. A drop in the ocean compared to the losses we have suffered, but still a victory. I watched bemused as the human dropships were deployed with no shielding to protect them, no lights to guide them. They just fell and landed heavily. Unbeknownst by the Ravagers, their enemy had been dropped silently in the middle of a storm at night. It was the perfect cover. I did not understand their methods at first, but I grew to grasp them as my time with them continued. They spilled out of their ships like locusts. It didn't make sense how so many were crammed in there. I saw for the helmet of the on-ground commander. Activate stealth. The small militia of humans all slightly shimmered and vanished. What replaced the humans was a sensor in the visor that painted a green outline of any human that was in his view. Undetected by enemies, but visible by allies. Alpha 1, flank HQ 1. Begin explosives, ordnance placements. Bomb sight on each side of the HQ and one in that back for yourselves. Alpha 2 through 10, head to your entrance points. 11 and I will head to the front. Aye, the militia responded quietly. Wait to my signal, the Alpha Commander stated. Back on the ship, it felt like an eternity waiting on the units to get in place, but it maybe took 30 minutes. The commander activated his comms. Alpha 1 cleared hot, engage. The detonations were massive. Chaos reigned for those accompanying the HQ building. For the Ares unit, calm silence. I'm glad I was recording what was being shown. It was difficult to process what exactly was happening. The Ares unit moved incredibly quickly in low gravity. They would cover large distances in two to three lunges. Single shots fired, each one a kill shot. Their accuracy unmatched, but if you were to ask me what the scariest part was, it was their stealth tech, Ghosts of War. The moment that jumped out at me, it will be the highlight of my article. A hallway of about 20 guards on each side stared down the corridor. Weapons drawn, trigger fingers ready to let loose a volley of hate. Yet, the human stopped when she turned the corner. Invisible to the ravagers, she took a deep breath, held it, and began tippy-toeing past all the guards. Never releasing her breath. How could she remain so calm? Her heart rate wasn't even spiking. Her vitals were normal. Hell, I was shaking for her. That was easily the longest minute of my life. She passed them, turned around, slowly withdrew two small kinetic handguns, and began unloading lead into the back of their heads. It was over before they even knew it started. Forty Ravager soldiers laid to rest at the feet of the Ares woman. Come on, Terrans, you're making us look bad. This was too easy. She spoke to no one in particular. To say the humans were a scourge on the Ravagers would be considered an understatement, the efficiency the Ares unit displayed when executing the Ravagers almost made you feel bad for them. Almost. Within 27 minutes, the facility was secured. Human casualties, zero. Ravager casualties, 397. Free capture for interrogation. Terran Command, this is Alpha Commander. Ravager stronghold secured. Expanding Human Command and Control on Planet. Please follow suit. The first 57 minutes of human intervention and they wiped out the Ravagers HQ. Called the Terrans down, and now more dropships entered orbit as they disabled all anti-aircraft artillery. Humans had air superiority, and two hours later, planet-wide control. I slowed down the videos of movement, showcasing how slow the cameras were playing to catch the agility of a human in a combat scenario for my article. I put in the entire Hoi massacre, including her little quip, unedited. I was sure that would spark some controversy and conspiracies. Star Union News front page. Leaked human warfare footage. Saviors. Who could ever challenge them? This should rock the boat. Make people talk. Pepper the article with a bit of healthy fear of the humans. I like what I saw. Olympia's colonel waved me on to post. From their eyes, I bet it looked like I was bragging about their strength. The readers are smart. They will read between the lines. A smile flashed across my face as I hit publish. The views came flooding in. The saves, reposts, comments came rushing in. Ares unit? They aren't organic. You're all sheeple. A unit is a machine. Come on, think. Anon 4324. These humans are only saving us to save us later. Monsters of this level of brutality are savages underneath their void armor. Quilla Gix. Morty heartily agree, Quilla. Your core. Wow, you should all be ashamed. These humans had no reason to join, no reason to help. Just like the Terrans, they show compassion. We would be so lucky if humans are half as kind as the Terrans. Dried Yo, that chick bad as fuck. 
Bet she bad as fucking bed too, lol. And on 69420. That comment was heavily downvoted. But what was worse was all the comments that replied to his in a similar way, equally downvoted. Yikes. In before humans are just short Terrans, Trixed. What a stupid thought. Yes, humans are just Terran children, her duh. The hollow net truly brings out idiots. Love the humans, hateful human propaganda, let them join. Don't let them join the Union, back and forth and so on and so on. Friction grew in the Union. I couldn't care less about what the future brought for them. I need more views. Views brought credits. Credits brought happiness. With a sigh, I powered off my holopad. The constant notifications were distracting, and Bravo Team was starting. The team touched down on a desert planet. The invisibility was useless as they stepped out of the ships. You could easily see their footprints in the sand and dirt. Activate desert protocol, Bravo Commander shouted. One after another, a cape unraveled from their shoulders, laying still behind them on the ground. Activate stealth, was the next command. The humans disappeared. Let's go, he commented from the back. Bravo team began moving towards their assigned targets, their caves sweeping away any sign of foot traffic. Truly terrifying. It looked as if a breeze was gently moving the sand around. These humans were true masters of war. It seemed the desert took a toll of this team, though. Free injuries due to dehydration. Nothing serious, but they collapsed and stayed behind waiting on Terran support. The second planet was secure without a single death. I had no idea this was just the beginning. Another article published. Humans? Masters of war? Not nearly as successful as my last one. No flashy displays of violence. I wasn't allowed to publish the dehydration issues. It was their quality. I wasn't too worried, though. The humans had to reclaim 57 systems, averaging 10 hospitable planets. They had a lot of work ahead of them. I, on the other hand, had a lot of reporting to do. And as I said before, war is good for business.